start back in the Peterbilt modified by Viper 2 and all the creators of that truck itself. This is the very first truck I very first mod I ever used for this game. And I figured we hop right back into it since I got a bunch of other mods that goes with it. From other uh, mod creators and everything and figured customize it the way I like it. And I like it so far. Now all the lights and everything around the bottom that are blue, those are KSW mods and lighting. Uh, it has several different kinds of lights on it and everything. I'll put a link in the, link in the description below. Now for the beacons up top, that beacon right there, the very top, and the lighting that I'm getting ready to show you are from Big T uh, lighting uh, beacons. So, uh, and those are free actually. KSW mods is uh, payware. The uh, Big T uh, beacon mods are um, free in the Steam Workshop. But I'll put a link, not, well, not exactly a link, but uh, what you gotta look, actually put in for the Steam Workshop stuff to look these up. And the, uh, I think this truck's uh, also in the Steam Workshop, so it's the Peterbilt Modified 2.3 uh, version. I'm not for sure if the Steam Workshop's been updated. I got this one actually off of the uh, third party website, modats.com. I think it's .com, I'm not sure. But I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can get this truck that way, or you can go through the Steam Workshop and find it yourself. Today we're hauling a tractor to Glasgow. I'm not even sure where I'm at. Oh, yeah, Kalispell to Glasgow. So. Also, I have a new engine sound for you, and this one's not from Z Mods. This is actually in the Steam Workshop as well. It's from uh, JC's Amateur Engine Pack, and I want to say thank you to uh, Mike Brown in the comments uh, for letting me know with the, one of my videos I created, asking about it, and he knew exactly which one I was talking about. This is one of the amateur packs which has the lope engine sound, idle sound, which sounds pretty sweet. Uh, it's one I was looking for, and I want to say thank you for uh, letting me know about this, but I also will describe, uh, let y'all know, just put in JC engine, uh, amateur engine pack into the Steam uh, Workshop search, and it will bring it up. And JC stands for Johnny Cash, if uh, anybody didn't know. Now the wheels on this truck actually come from the res build mod. These will actually fit on this truck and along with other trucks as well. So if you want to get these wheels, all you have to do is get the mod from the Steam Workshop. It's the res built, R-E-Z built, to uh, get these to actually fit on other trucks because these also will fit on the John Ruder trucks, which is pretty nice. So uh, let's start it up and let you listen. I do not know why, but I love this sound. Uh, I actually need to get smoke moving out of my stacks. Uh, I forgot to look it up or anything, see where you get them from. But uh, y'all can just let me know if it's in the Steam Workshop or if there's somewhere else I can get it. It actually has smoke come out of your stacks. It would be nice to give it more of that grill effect. But it sounds amazing. I want to say kudos to JC who made this mod and it is amazing but there's not just that mod as well and it, it comes with several different other ones that you don't have to have the low idle and it comes with normal uh, truck sounds and everything which sound really good too. I tried out a few just to see what they list, uh, sound like and they sound amazing as well. But uh, let's get rolling.
yourself up. It's that's that's really good sounds. And to be a freebie mod, I'm surprised. A lot of the freebie mods I have uh, ever tried, some of them, some of them sound good. Other ones, uh, I always pass out loud. Whatever. Anyway, uh, but I have heard some freebies that are, uh, they're okay. Uh, but this one is amazing for what it is. And yes, I was still getting Z-Mod ones, even though it's payware, because he does make amazing engine sounds as well. Um, but if you want to do payware, this is actually a good one that I actually really like. And it's in the Steam Workshop. And I'm going to tell you that until you remember. Steam Workshop. Actually, several of these things are on Steam Workshop, except for some of the lighting I got on it. different 
horsepower and everything for them. So.
we can make it before anybody else comes around. There's one. Hopefully nobody comes over this bridge. We can do it.
Where'd he come from?
work for this truck, I thought. Of course, this could be the profile that I haven't turned it on with. Oh yeah, I remember this area. I was taking out them uh, walk sounds with that big old AC unit run I ran.
different. I like it.
That's gonna be amazing. That, that is gonna be cool. I think it's about Highway 20 or something like that they said. Yeah. So many patches. Keep going through these patches and everybody's gonna keep updating, updating their uh, mods and everything. But, uh, the best part of it is it's actually getting better and better every time they release a patch. New things, new things you can do with the game and everything. So it just makes it a lot better. So. Can't wait. Can't wait till they uh, announce for Texas to come out. That's one thing I can't wait for. I know they're putting a lot of hard work into it. Texas is a pretty big state to be doing, so. Can't wait for that one to come out, too. We can enjoy that one. mod but I just wish it didn't have so many glitches and whoever's doing the upgrades for it I hope they, they'll do some more and get some of the bugs fixes already uh, get some more bug fixes out of it and uh, the beacon lights are awesome from uh, Big T um, that's on the Steam Workshop but I'll have a link in everything and uh, description on where you can find all this stuff in the Steam Workshop and, workshop and where you can uh, what to do to look for it and everything and what to type in and uh, kudos to JC on the amateur uh, amateur engine pack uh, that low bottle is amazing this makes me feel like you know you're in an older truck and built it the way you wanted it like you're an actual owner or operator newer trucks are real nice I mean they're they're real quiet anymore I don't, I don't know, something about the really loud trucks and everything just sounds so nice. That's just me. Other than that, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next video with the big cam.